All right, joining me live right now to talk uh, more about this is legal analyst Michael Cardoza. Let's dive right into it, Michael. I want to clarify this one point here. So an old district attorney said he would give Cosby immunity if he gave a deposition in a civil trial. Cosby does it, but then the new prosecutor down the road uses that civil testimony in the most recent criminal case against Cosby. That's why he's out of prison. Are you surprised the state Supreme Court rolled with it? No, I'm not surprised at all what the Supreme Court in Pennsylvania did. They said it violated fundamental fairness. As you said, Michael, what happened before Castor, the DA then, decided he could not prosecute Constance's case, could not prosecute it. So we don't have enough evidence, but I will help you in your civil case if you want me to, by telling the world and telling Cosby, I will not prosecute you. The government will not prosecute you. The government will not use anything you say at that deposition in the civil case against you. Cosby went along with that. He testified under oath at the um, discovery proceeding and he gave incriminating statements. 15 years later, changing of the guard, new DA said, well, we have new evidence. We're going to go after Cosby. We're going to use what he said at that deposition. And he did exactly that. They got a conviction. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court said, you can't do that. That's fundamentally unfair. Okay, now, but then in, why, why did the court throw out the conviction? Why not, why not just say, hey, let's have another trial? Or can Cosby not be hit with the same charges and then try to get in this? You know, that's the question I have, and that's a good question, Michael. But what they're talking about is fundamental unfairness, and that's what they latched on to. I agree with you. I think there should be a new trial. Take that evidence away and use what her testimony was and the other witness this, that said he did the same thing to right. me. Now, the court in this case didn't address whether the DA should or couldn't use those other five witnesses. They didn't comment on that. So I have that same question, but I think it's important for everyone to know uh, because I hear people say, well, he's not guilty. He didn't do this. No, the jury came back and said he was guilty. Right. The Supreme Court did not comment on that. So this is not an opinion about Cosby's right. guilt or not guilt in this case. All right, this is the state Supreme Court in Pennsylvania. What about the U.S. Supreme Court? Do you think prosecutors will appeal this to the U.S. Supreme Court? You know, they may do that. That's uh, something that I'm sure they're going to explore. But my opinion will be that the Supreme Court will not take this case. Uh, they might, but I don't think so. This case will stand. Cosby will live out his life unless other charges are brought in freedom. Remember, it is not a comment on whether he did this or not. It's a comment on what the prosecutor did in this case and how the prosecution used what they said they wouldn't use. Let me ask you about how we even got to this point. I'm, I'm curious about your take on the old DA. I mean, Lisa Bloom today, uh, Lisa Bloom being the attorney for uh, three of Bill Cosby's accusers, said that this is a slap in the face to all the victims out there. And she emphasized, just as you said, Cosby's not innocent, right? She, she still says that he did it. Uh, it's just an old prosecutor made this deal uh, and made a mistake to get that civil deposition. D did the new prosecutor make a mistake in using that uh, in the criminal case? I think the new prosecutor did make a mistake, but, and that's Gloria Allred's daughter you're talking about, Lisa Bloom. Right. Lisa's correct. I mean, this is, uh, you know, doesn't talk to his guilt or not guilt in this particular case. It's got nothing to do with that. Keep in mind, the jury said, Bill Cosby, you are guilty. This was what some people would call a technicality. But when prosecutors make a deal like that and publicly say, if you testify at a, a deposition, we will not use what you say. You do not get to assert the fifth in that deposition. And I, I assume constant uh, that that's the victim agreed to this. And if she agreed to it, you know, what can he say? I think they both made a mistake constant in making that deal and in the new DA violating that deal. So this is one of those technicalities that everybody will go crazy about. But keep in mind, it doesn't speak to his being innocent. Or that was not a big, big ruling today, no doubt. I mean, uh, he was in prison this morning and now he's. He's at home, Bill yeah. Cosby. All right, Michael Cardoza, always a pleasure. Good to see you. Uh, thanks for the conversation. Good to see you, too. Bye-bye.